because I got to preach to myself before I can preach to others. But they come back and they're like, yo, Joshua, because until you destroy those devouted things, for this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. God bless. God bless you guys. And welcome back to another video here on the Street Fishing YouTube page. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. And I first of all received this for myself. I feel like the Lord is speaking this to myself first of all, because I got to preach to myself before I can preach to others. Amen. And so as you guys saw from the last video, if you haven't seen the video, first of all, go check it out. It's the video titled Consecration. Um, so I've been reading the book of Joshua. I feel the Lord has took me to the book of Joshua and I'm still in it, still studying, still deep diving in the book and, and into the word. And so I'm still in the book of Joshua. And so I wanted to share what, what the Lord has prompted in my spirit after reading this. This is found in chapter seven of the book of Joshua. This is after they crossed the Jordan River. This is after the they got the victory in Jericho because they, yes, war victorious they were they were victorious the walls of jericho came collapsing down they shouted they they went in they conquered and destroyed everything and they were able to save um rahab because of what she did so this is all after that this is um right after that pretty much so in chapter seven we begin to to read that Joshua then gets more men, more spies, and sends them out to the city of Ai. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Ai. Um, and so he sends more spies to this land to, to go spy on this land. And so the spies go out, the spies go out, and they come back. And, in, and I'm paraphrasing, but they come back and they're like, yo, Joshua, you're like, we just came back. We don't even need to send the whole army because there's nothing but about two, three thousand of them. So we don't need to send the whole crew. We send a couple of men, go out, conquer it, boom, get this victory real quick, and everything will be ours. Amen. Or for the Lord's. Amen. And so Joshua taking the word that the, these men, these spies came back with the, with the intelligence that they just retrieved. Uh, from their scouting mission, <laughs> but they came back. And so, so Joshua took this and he sent out a few soldiers. But then this is what happened, you guys. This is what happened. The Bible says, the Bible says that they were conquered. They were defeated, defeated so much that the people of Israel began to retreat. And, a, and a many of them were killed. I believe it says 36 of them were killed. But like I said, they only sent a few. So 36 to a few. I don't know if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say how many were sent, but they sent a few. And most of them were killed. Amen. And so then Joshua, Joshua then begins to just kind of rip off his clothes, throws himself on the ground, kind of have a, a grown man tantrum. <laughs> if you will, and just, why, God, why? How is it that we, the people of Israel, your chosen people, can be defeated so greatly? How is it? And so Joshua and the elders begin to cry out and ask God, why? Why would you allow us to experience victory? Why would you allow us to experience victory with the city of Jericho? This tremendous, this triumphant, victorious siege against the, the city of Jericho. Why would you allow us to experience such a victory only to be defeated by a smaller, lesser army? Right? And so then the Lord says this. Stand up, Joshua. The reason why is because the people of Israel has sinned. They have sinned. Because you see, if we go back a couple chapters, when they were about to go into the city of Jericho, the Lord told them. He commanded a few things. And part of those things was to not retrieve or to not keep 
the devouring things of Jericho to not keep them. And so then the Lord begins to tell Joshua, you guys have been defeated because not only have you guys ultimately disobeyed God, but you guys have stolen the devouring things. You guys have kept them and put them into your own possession. And it was all because of the people of Ahab or Ahan, the son, the, the, the Ahan the, of the tribe of Judah. Because of Ahan and his people of the tribe of Judah, they kept these devouted things of Jericho. And so the Lord begins to tell Joshua, he tells them that you guys have experienced defeat because you guys have these devouted things. You know, and so he tells them this in verse 13. Let me get my Bible real quick. The word of God says this. Amen. So this is what he says in verse 13 of chapter seven. He says, go consecrate the people. Tell them, consecrate yourself in preparation of tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. There are devouted things among you, Israel. You cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them. Amen. And so that is basically what happens in the book of Joshua in chapter seven. You know, they experience defeat. And so what the Lord prompted in my spirit about this, where I begin to download, um, you know, by the Holy Spirit is that some, sometimes some of us, when we experience spiritual victories, when we begin to experience spiritual triumphs and we begin to overcome and break down the walls that the devil has placed and we begin to break down the walls of temptation, the walls of depression, the walls of, of just whatever it is that you're facing in life. The moment God gives us victories, great victories, we tend to fall in the small things that God tells us not to do or to stay away from or to keep away or to to throw away. Because how many of us know that sometimes we as believers, sometimes we want to compromise We don't want to submit to what God has commanded us, but we want to compromise. And that's a whole nother message, but how many of us know that? And it is when we compromise and I'll give God 90%, but I'll keep 10% of what I'm already doing. You know, I'll, I'll give God, you know, I'll sacrifice the smoke and I'll give God the smoking that I'm doing, but I'll still drink a little bit on the side, you know? So it's when God gives us these great victories of whatever we're facing, only to then get defeated, suffer a great loss. By something that might be so simple. But because we have disobeyed a commandment. Because we have disobeyed what God has specifically and directly told us not to do. Or not to, not to be a part of. We experience defeat. And so, but this is what's key, you guys. This is what's key. Verse 13, the verse that I read. Is that you got to then consecrate yourself. What does consecrate mean for those that don't know? It's to be set apart, to set a time apart, to set a day apart and just seek the Lord. Whether it be prayer, reading the word, fasting, just seek God, spend time with God in a way to, to cleanse yourself, to renew yourself. Almost like a spiritual detox, if you will. And so the Lord tells Joshua to tell the people of Israel, consecrate. 
Because until you destroy those devoured things, until you get rid of all those things, I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, but until you get rid of all that secular music, until you get rid of that cigarette, until you get rid of the alcohol that you're drinking, until you get rid of the, 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 the pornography that you're seeing on the side, until you get rid of those things through consecration, you would only then experience defeat. And only until you get rid of those, you'll experience freedom, victories, all in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you guys for watching this video. I end it there. God bless you guys. Man, if you guys have not kept up with us when we go street preaching, if you are in the Bay Area, you guys, if you are in the Bay Area, message me, comment on this video. If you have not followed my Instagram, follow the Instagram. I'll, link, uh, I'll put the, the link right here or not the link. Well, I'll put the link of my Instagram and my Facebook down in the description below. Follow and see what God is doing when we go street preaching. We just went to the city of Vallejo. Uh, Vallejo, California, this past Saturday, and man, there was deliverance, there was healing, there was people praying for it, people who gave their life to God, just worship and preaching the word in the streets of Vallejo, California. The Monday prior, we went to Stockton, and man, God moved out there, so keep in touch, you guys, comment, like this video, share if this has been a blessing in your life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.